If they want to vote for you genuinely, they'll be the ones to leave their homes and go and get that card and say, oh boy, now I've heard you before, Mama Mekono. Come on, Mekono, not honorable law your state. But they refuse, my brother. How does he feel now? <sighs> I should be, how do I say it? I should be angry. I should be vexed. I wouldn't use the word uh, P, but however, I won't because I met good people along the line. Good people voted for me. They did not collect a penny from me. Even those I empowered. I did an empowerment program in November. I empowered close to 250 people. I spent one million on that program. I don't think those people voted. What's because if I look at the figures. What's your figure? They did not vote. Well, I, I'm not even sure of it. In some areas, I'm hearing 380 something. I'm hearing 700 and something. But I'm going to get uh, the right figure from INEC this week. Okay. So the figure is what is, uh, I don't even want to look at it. Because if I looked at the figure, it will, it will make me discouraged. Because for one year now, I've given up my own personal life. I've given up enjoying my life, eating well, sleeping well, and also being with my children 24-7. Are you giving up? <sighs> I won't give up because of the young children I met along the line. Would you like to be a because commissioner? Of the youths. I don't fancy all those uh, fancy positions. I fancy where I would be productive. You see, Mackinde makes you a commissioner. I don't think I'll be effective as a commissioner. He needs to think of another avenue where he can use my business skills and my welfareism. That's where I want to be. You still want to be governor? Oh, I will. I will be governor. You come back again in 2023? If Engineer Sheyima Kinde is doing very well for the people of your state, I will not contest for governor in 2023. I will let him do another four years because four years is not enough if we are, if we are realistic. You uh, I might go for Senate in 2023. But if he's not delivering for the people of your state, your basa will stand up again and I'll scream on top of my voice to tell people, I have come again, no. Oh. Will you now give me a chance? So that's why Engineer Sheyi will deliver. Will you leave your party NIP? Um, the news we heard last week was that INEC was going to dissolve a lot of parties that yeah. could not win any positions. So NIP might need to be dissolved. So I might have to. And then the way I've realized that people, their mentality is either APC or PDP. So I might have, have to, to contest under one of those platforms. Okay. Uh, APC, they're talking to me. They want me to be part of them. Uh, so I have to decide, you know, who is the best for the people. Whoever, is, whoever I know that they're going to be good to the people, those are the people I'm going to uh, 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 join, you know, either APC or PDP. Whoever I know that would genuinely let me be who I am for the people, then I'll join those people. If you're just joining us, I have Bonlan Lea Shabi Sarumia Liu in the studio. We are discussing her experiences running for the seat of the governor of your state. Now let's look. What are the challenges women confront on the political field? Number one, party structure. Um, if we have a party where you have to be bribing delegates, 100,000 naira each, and you're talking about 3,000 delegates, I don't think any woman will enter that party. So already she's been disenfranchised from being with a popular party. That's why I told you I never, I never contested on any of those platforms. Why? I thought you were going to run on the platform of the ANRP. That's where, that's where I started from. What that's happened? why I said party structure. However, they had a candidate. They call him their chosen candidate. Uh, he lives in America, and he had been funding... Olale Kohan, you already did. Yes, he had been funding them privately. But I refused to listen to that because they told me that they're going to do a free and fair primaries. I said, what does that mean? They said, you will stand like this. Ayori, they will stand here. They will now say, people for Bola, stand behind Bola. People for Ayori, they stand behind Ayori. I said, is that all? They said, yes. They said, but the people that will vote on that day must have paid 3,000 Naira membership cards. I said, okay, that's fine then. So I started pouring in my members into there because I started in February. So I already had a, you know, a crowd of people, supposedly, that were supposed to stay with us. And then I now put them in the party. So I had a 1,000 people that came to vote for me on that day. 3,000 naira times 1,000. That's about 3 million that they all paid. You know. And at the end of the day, my list was changed. My people could not find their names to vote. And I didn't want to give them the list. They were asking me, send us the list of the people that will vote for you on that day. I said, why? Go and look at your database now. They registered online. The, the, the payment was made to the bank. So go and check out the database. They were convincing me, even in national, the, pre, the presidential candidate, Top Fasua, they were saying, don't worry, Bola. We just want to have the whole names of people that will turn up the, for the primary so that we'll make sure your names are there. I said, really? They said, yes. I was convinced two days before the election. I gave them the printout. I still have that printout. I look at it and I'm really, really sad at what they did to me. You were skimmed out. My, I was rigged out. And I did not even stay. On that, on that primary day, I brought Forty's TV to film it. So I have a whole video with me. I was telling them, I went to meet the INEC and also the party. I said, look, this is not free and fair. My people can't find their name. They said, madam, 
go to one side, I beg. We're going to continue. When we get to the end of the road, you can now complain. That I was said, your what? baptism of fire. Yes. And I didn't quit. I still continued. And the following day, I got NIP to contest on that without paying a penny. Did this you? other one, I paid 500000 for my form. So women are disenfranchised 24-7 by the party structure, by the finances involved, and also by the bullying, etc. And also this do or die, they do. Were you bullied? In uh, ANRP, I yeah. think, I, I don't know what I'll call it. I was rigged. Did you cry? Yes, I did. I oh. cried. Oh. It really pained me. And I told my people, I said, if a small party like this, a cockroach party that I've been promoting for four months, screaming at the top of my voice, going to every media house. They never gave me a penny. I used all my personal funds to do it. And at the end of the day, they rigged me on primaries day for somebody that lives in America that had 20 people that came to vote for him on that day. 20 people. At the end of the day, I left the primaries. They now gave us results. They say Bolanli had one vote. Mm. And the guy had 99 votes. How can Bolanli have one vote when she wasn't at the primaries again, when she had left? I want to be known in history as the woman they rigged out of primaries. Not the woman that lost her primaries. 